Good day and welcome to this short tutorial on how to calibrate microscopes. As biology majors you will use microscopes in at least one of your first year labs and for you to be able to use a microscope you will of course first be required to learn how to calibrate them. Please note that the right time for you to be watching this tutorial is after you familiarize yourself with the different parts of the microscope and how to set up color illumination first. Now before we get started on calibration itself, I would like to take a quick second to tell you why calibration is significant and why we need to calibrate microscopes at all before we use them. The best way for me to demonstrate to you why you need to calibrate your microscopes is to show you an exaggerated example. So let's go ahead and imagine that our microscope has been set up under color illumination and we are looking through the oculus. If you see something like this, chances are you're not doing something right chances are you're looking through the eyepieces with only one eye. Now that's something you should try and avoid doing. It is extremely important to learn how to use both your eyes to look through the eyepieces as early on as possible. Why? Well, for one reason, you may not see the ocular ruler that is embedded in one of the eyepieces. There, now we are looking through both eyepieces. This ruler embedded in one of the eyepieces is referred to as the ocular ruler. The measurements on the ocular ruler do not have any physical significance unless we calibrate the microscope. Let's see what I mean when I say that. I have loaded a slide containing an unidentified organism, a protozoan of sorts, and looking at it through the eyepieces, we notice that the organism is measuring between three and four ocular units. So apparently the length of the organism is one ocular unit. Next, we switch over to the 40x magnification, and this time the organism begins to look something more like this. This time when we take a measurement, we'll notice that the organism has apparently grown. And now it's measuring between 0 and 7 ocular units. Now naturally, the only thing that has changed is as we're changing the zoom, the magnification amount. The organism is the same organism. First time it measured 1 ocular unit. The second time it's measuring 7 ocular units. This one was under... 10x magnification, the second measurement was under 40x magnification. So by now it should be clear to you why ocular units don't actually mean anything unless we calibrate the microscope. So how do we do that? In order for us to start calibrating our microscope, we will need something known as the stage micrometer. What is a stage micrometer, you ask? Well, a stage micrometer is quite simply a factory-made 1mm unit that you can load onto your microscope stage, and that's what I'm going to do. The actual stage micrometer that you'll be looking at in your lab is not going to be colorful, like mine, of course, but it will look something similar to this. It's always a good idea to start calibrating your microscope using the lowest magnification. In our hypothetical microscope, we have 10, 40, and 100x objective lenses. So in our case, I'm starting with the 10x objective lens to start calibrating. You will need to do calibration for each individual objective lens separately. I would like to make one thing very, very clear. Throughout the course of this tutorial, whenever I use the word unit, I will be referring to the physical distance, physical length, separating two consecutive integers. Now that could be on the stage micrometer, or it could be on the ocular ruler. So this distance that I've marked over here is one unit, a stage unit, if you will. And from 4 to 5, that would be one ocular unit. I will not use the word unit to refer to these smaller separations. If it needs be, I will call them mini units. This is just to make things a bit easier to follow and avoid confusion. So now I've gone ahead and superimposed the ocular ruler on the stage micrometer using the stage knobs. And the concept is rather simple. By, by means of comparison of the ocular ruler against the stage micrometer, the length of which we already know, we will get an idea of what each ocular unit corresponds to in terms of physical dimension. So we already know the manufacturing factory, in fact, has told us that the entire length of the stage micrometer, the red ruler here, is one millimeter. One millimeter, as you might know, is equivalent to 1,000 micrometers. Now, if you look over here, you'll notice that the ocular ruler and the stage ruler are not lining up perfectly. To be precise, 9.9 .9 stage units, 9.9 .9 units of the stage micrometer are lining up with the entire length of the ocular ruler. 
10 ocular units. Now, I already mentioned that 10 stage units, 10 stage units, or the entire length of the stage micrometer is 1000 micrometers, which means that the length that we have now, the length that we are interested in right now, 9.9, .9, has a physical length of 990 micrometers, which is great because now we know that 10 ocular units equal 990 micrometers, allowing us to conclude that one ocular unit, one of these units, equals 99 micrometers. And there, we've calibrated our microscope on the 10x magnification. This is something you would want to write down in your lab notebook, if you have one, or somewhere else, to refer to in the future if you need to use the same microscope under the same magnification later on. Now let's move ahead and perform calibration under 40x magnification. You'll notice that under 40x, the entire length of the stage micrometer, down below this time, is not visible to us. We can only see round about three stage units in our field of view this time, the rest of it being down here somewhere, which by the way is completely fine. Once again, we know that 10 stage units, meaning the entire length of the stage micrometer, the red micrometer down here, corresponds to 1000 micrometers. Now in our example, we also notice that the entire length of the ocular ruler is corresponding to or is lining up against 2.5 stage units, 2.5 stage units. So what we are interested in right now is to know what 2.5 stage units are in terms of micrometers. And this should be rather simple to calculate, 250 micrometers. So again, what we've calculated is the physical distance between zero and 2.5, looking at the stage micrometer, 250 micrometers. Now, knowing that 2.5 stage units are lining up against 10 ocular units, we can also write that 10 ocular units equal 250 micrometers, meaning one ocular unit is 25 micrometers. And again, this would be something for you to write down in your notebook for future reference. I hope everything we discussed made some amount of sense to you and will help you with your calibration first time round. Thanks for watching and good luck in your lab.